The lawyer Acker hired, it's Jimmy. You're Jimmy? You know, I'm worried about Kim. She's really caught between her own sense of morality and the job of a lawyer. How did that happen? Jimmy's been doing some very aggressive marketing. Looks like Acker picked up on it. Yeah, she's playing a deep game. It's pretty risky, but it's also the smarter choice. If he had found out not through her, no one would believe that she didn't know. He's a good old boy, right? So do he talk like this? Jimmy is delighted. Saul Goodman's at his best when he has a villain to pick on, and I think he, he finds it in Kevin Wachtel. Bottom line, breaking ground. More statues. Kim, you get him now, blah, 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 blah. Every time they do a con, Jimmy and Kim get closer. Would you care to take a shower with me? Well, shoot, I believe I would. You're gonna figure out a way to get them off my property. That call center's not moving one damn inch. There's always a little bit of Jimmy inside Saul. There's always a little bit of Saul inside Jimmy. There's no reason on God's green earth to take this any further. It gets nasty, it gets personal, it gets dangerous. That's a great moment where you see the Jimmy McGill and Saul sort of speaking up. Got a minute? Sure. When we see her partner gently ask if she's on the right course, she explodes. Rich, Rich. It's very hard to watch her make those choices because they don't seem like the Kim we've come to know. You are accusing me of something. Go ahead and say it. It is a part of her that cannot tolerate feeling like or being seen as one of the bad guys. Mike is the captain of his own ship. He does not want to feel handled. He does not want to feel trapped. Where is this place? Mike still has great humanity buried way deep. And when he sees decent people, it would be better if he never saw that because that's his weakness. Innocence, decency, he recognizes it. And his instinct is to try to protect it. Mike needs to get back to the texture of everyday life. He needs to get grounded again, to feel useful, doing something for others. And just as he is starting to find his footing, well, Gus visits. This village is intimately related to Gus's feelings about Max, his partner. Call it a memorial. Perhaps the other one of the Chicken Brothers, whose murder really drives Gus. And the fact that he's willing to bring Mike to this place, Gus is showing himself to Mike in a way that he doesn't show himself to anybody. Why me? Revenge. He is finally speaking to Mike in a language that Mike understands at the depth of his soul. It's the lifeline that Mike needs to keep moving on.